This Monday was my son's fourth birthday, so I made a we post in Instagram and Facebook saying happy birthday Eric and all the things that inspire me but also about what motherhood in these four years meant for me and I said specifically that although um, every day I feel lucky and I love them very much every day I fantasize um, about not having kids I mean there's always a moment during the day that I my mind goes in how much I could do, how much I could travel, how much silence would I have about the space and the, and the physical room and but, but mostly the time for me and, and the way I will be the center 24-7 which obviously I'm not. And it resonates a lot with a lot of mums. A friend of mine called me and said, Virginia that's what I would say if I didn't feel judged and even the fact of thinking it makes me feel judged and it's true I think that's how we most of us feel I think the stigma around motherhood and about that pretension of being a loving mom and caring and amazing 24 7 it's huge and I think it's something that men don't have and I think that is an emotional load that we carry and um, I think if we were more honest about what motherhood really is and really means, a lot of people will feel less pressure about having kids. A lot of people will feel more comfortable with their own choices. But it feels somehow like we're in a kind of sect in which we need to say all the time how amazing everything is. And whenever we say something wrong, we need to specify that it's worth it. I think that's something that really, really pissed me off. The fact that every time I say something you know, like, oh my god, I can't do that anymore, or oh my god, I was too killed anymore. Fuck, I mean, can't they just go to bed at five in the afternoon and wake up on Sunday? I feel that I have to add that they're like the cutest, or <laughs> but I will have them again in a heartbeat because you need to soften that. It can't be just perceived as oh, this woman doesn't love their kids. Nobody questions men loving their kids for complaining about them or for not being involved all the time. And I do find that motherhood just takes over all the space, especially if you have extremely high expectations, as we all do. I don't know any mother that is like, I'm okay just being an average mom. I think we all feel the huge responsibility of being growing human beings that have to be decent, that have to be part of the solution that have to be happy and you know for some people it's the academic side for some people it's the emotional side for some people it's that they're well nurtured and never take sugar or that they never watch tv or all of the above or none of the above but whatever it is there's always so much pressure because we really care and we really want to do it well which means that it's constantly in our mind and there's a lot of guilt and a lot of shame associated with not arriving to that level that we have imposed on ourselves and yeah I think that a lot of motherhood is extremely exhausting and most of all boring I'm not gonna lie being a mom most of the time is very boring it includes a lot of playing games that are boring, cleaning clothes that are boring, putting things in the dishwasher and out, and that's if you're lucky enough to have a dishwasher, and you know, tidy mini clothes and stains and picking up toys and having pebbles and stones in every pocket and saying be careful and trying to you know, say no all the time and, and trying to engage and also feeling bad for not being the amazing mom that you want to be. And I find that I have moments where I am a proper, super cool Instagram mom. I see myself from outside and I'm like, I'm nailing this shit. And three seconds later, I'm like, okay, that's no longer working. And I think that's what parenting really is. And I think if we were direct and we were honest and we were um, joining, and if we align around those hardness and those realities, it would be a much more palatable pill to digest and also it will be a more liberating thing I mean we have to normalize that parenting is not for everyone and every time somebody asks 
I tell them, look, if you're not sure, don't have kids. If you're not extremely sure, and if you don't understand that you're gonna get lost in it a lot of times, do not have kids. You're like, mm, I don't know, don't have kids. I mean, only have kids if you're completely convinced that you really, really want to have kids and that you understand that there's gonna be a lot of sacrifice involved and, and that it's going to be a lot of things that you won't be able to do because time is limit is limited money is limited energy is limited and you end up prioritizing them as it should be i mean it's your choice to have kids and you should put them in the center and all that but because everything is very limited you find yourself missing your old self and fantasizing with that idea of if all the time I'm picking up toys, I will be dedicating it to my career or my friends or my hobbies or reading books. I mean, how amazing would that be? So this is the part where I'm biting my tongue to not say, <laughs> but they're so worth it. And you know what? I guess sometimes they are and for some people they won't and it doesn't matter. And probably for most of us, sometimes they are and sometimes they're not. And I think they'll get easier with time and I, we will come back whenever we're 99 years old or, and be like, oh, if only, you know, I've enjoyed those times more. But also I think it doesn't liberate us from the fact that we need to have the space and the room to be honest about things. I've had amazing conversations with mums about um, real motherhood and they haven't made me less my kids any less. They haven't let me enjoy the great moments any less, but they have made me feel less lonely in those moments of like, what the fuck? So let's be that for each other. Let's not judge each other parenting. And let's not expect mothers to be loving and caring and amazing and insta moms 24 seven. And let's be that shoulders that say, yeah, I get it. Uh, you know what? I hate doing this too, or oh my God, I miss me too. Because we're in these together um so yeah and i haven't said anything about parenting so look about par fathers getting um away with a lot of the things so that's a perk of today thanks very much and see you next week for another round bye